This video is going to show you how to use the citation tools that are built into our databases uh, that are there to make your lives a little bit easier when it comes time to make your work cited page uh, when you're doing a paper. Uh, most databases now include a citation tool uh, that will show you the correct format uh, and information for your citation, uh, depending on which citation style you're using for your paper. This is usually APA or MLA. Um, as I said, luckily most of the databases, the citation tool is located uh, in roughly the same place, which makes it easier for you since uh, once you know where to look, uh, you'll usually be able to find the tool and use it without much, uh, much searching around for it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to show you a few examples of some of our databases and where you can find the citation tool. And kind of once you get an idea of where that belongs, uh, you'll be able to find it yourself when you're using the other databases. Uh, so first off, I'm going to show you Academic One file. This is our, one of our main databases, uh, and it's one a lot of you will probably be using when it comes time uh, to do research. Uh, so you can just put a topic in there. I did global warming. You do your search, and when you find an article that you're going to use for your paper, uh, let's see, we'll just choose one here. Uh, so say you were going to use this article, you need to do the citation for it, have it on your Works Cited page for the paper. Um, it's very simple to find, uh, especially with one file. It's over here in the tools area where you've already can kind of go if you're figuring out what to do with the article, if you email it to yourself or download it or print it, uh, all those tools are here. Uh, but that also includes a citation tool, so it's very basic, just click the tool and it pops right up. It'll show you the MLA 7th edition version uh, citation here. Um, also, if you're doing APA, you just click this other tab and it comes up. And uh, in some cases, if you're used to using uh, citation software, you can see here where you can export that. Um, but basically from here, you can basically copy and paste uh, this into your Works Cited page. Uh, one word of warning, well, these are generally pretty accurate and will show you the correct information for your citation. It may not have the right formatting sometimes, especially if you're copying and pasting. Uh, so it's always a good idea to double check that uh, once you've got it in your Works Cited page that the formatting is correct. Um, so that's our one file database. But like I said, once uh, you've seen how it's done here, it's very similar in our other databases. Uh, for example, uh, this is our one file, uh, Omni file database. Uh, I did the same search for global warming, uh, picking an article. And again, you look for the tools section. It's a little trickier to find in this, but not much. It's over here on the right. You have print, email, uh, save to a folder. And then finally here, this little page is your citation tool. You click that. And actually, OmniFile gives you much more uh, examples of the different citation styles, but you can see there's APA, and if you scroll down a little bit more, there's MLA. Um, so there, it's very similar, and so you're not going to run into a lot of surprises there. Uh, we also have our Films on Demand. This is our video database. Uh, a lot of times you may have trouble thinking uh, how you're going to cite a video clip. Uh, so it also has the citation tool to help you with that. Uh, so we'll just pick one of these segments. And Films On Demand, uh, once it's finished loading here, you can see it has it here under it, also under its uh, different options. So you click Citation. And again, it'll show you kind of MLA and APA and the Chicago Manual of Style, which are some of the main uh, citation styles. It also has the ability to export that to EasyBib or some other uh, citation software. Uh, so you see it's pretty easy. Everything from our ebook collection. Uh, it's also from EBSCO, so it'll have a pretty similar style. You can see here where it just says citation. Click here, same list as you saw on OmniFile. Uh, we have our Newsbank database. Uh, here they've got the tool up here in this menu bar. And again, it gives you different options. Uh, so you just select your citation style and it comes up with the correct citation for you. 
So like I said, there's not a lot of surprises there once you get familiar with kind of the layout of the database. It's usually pretty easy to find uh, and it'll definitely make things a lot easier for you when it comes time for you to do your Works Cited page. Uh, as always, feel free to come into the library if you have any questions about your Works Cited. We're always happy to help uh, you with that and we hope to see you there.